So today I'm going to demonstrate how to build a 3D globe. We can start it off with a 4x4 plate or two 2x4 plates. If you follow the rules of using these shaped bricks, you can use any colour to complete the project. You can improvise by using different bricks to make the finished product. Because this is earth, I'm sticking to blues and greens to represent our world. Once you have done this process six times, you can start assembling your globe. Feel free to pause at any time. To build the globe, you need to use these snot bricks. I didn't have enough 1x2s, so I had to improvise and use two 1x1s. You can do whatever you need to do to make sure you have the right amount of bricks. Grab one of your sides and a 1x2 snot brick. Place it there. Then also, snot stands for studs, not on top. Make sure that they're facing the opposite sides. Then grab one of your one by ones and put it so it's the stud is facing out. Do the same for the other side. Just like that. You'll need to do this two times so it'll enable it to all fit together at the end. I had to use two one by ones because I didn't have enough one by twos. Like that. Do the same as the other one. Just like that. You can improvise as well so it all fits together at the end. To complete the globe, grab one of these pieces with the studs all on the outsides and one of the other ones that are normal. Stick it on so it goes on the side like that. Grab another one that has studs on the outside and put it on the normal one like that. So it makes a bit of a semicircle. Grab another one and stick it on like that. Put another one on. So it goes just like that. Also, be careful because these little pieces here, they can come off quite easily. But it is alright because they go back on pretty easily. Grab the last one and put it on carefully so nothing falls off. Just like that. And there's your globe. These are the pieces you need to build the arrows. This here is a 1x8. If you don't have one, you can just improvise and use something else. You'll need something flat to work on for this. You grab a 1x3 and a 1x2. Another 1x3. And a 1x1. Put them together with a one by two there. And a one by two just there. So there's one by one gaps on the sides. Then put leave the one by one there. Put the one by ones 
on the side like that. And get the one by eight and put it down the middle. Make sure that everything is connected correctly on the bottom. Then grab your one by three and the last brick, which is a one by two, and stick it on the ends on the bottom like that. And that's one arrow there. Another one that I've prepared earlier, which is the exact same. You can put the arrows just on the side of the globe like that, or you can stick them on like that on different sides facing opposite ways, and that's how you build a globe with arrows.